Hey guys, um, this week I'm going to show you how I clean windows, sweep the floor, vacuum the carpet when you're visually impaired or blind. It's really hard to figure out if you missed a spot and I get extremely self-conscious, especially whenever a company comes over. I want my house to, to look very clean and dusted. I'm very OCD about that. Um, before I lost my vision or um, was diagnosed with my eye disease, I was a clean freak and I still am and I learned a lot of tricks from when I was going through rehab with the state of Ohio uh, how to make sure I get all the nooks and crannies and don't miss a spot. So if you're interested to f figure out or learn my tricks or see my tricks and tips, continue watching and um, yeah, the next clip will show you um, how I do windows, um, vacuum the floor, as well as sweep the floor. I hope you guys enjoy. Thanks. Bye. I'm going to show you how I clean my windows when I am visually impaired, legally blind, blind, whatever term you want to call me. So here I have a generic window cleaner, a squeegee, which is very, very important, and some paper towels. So let's get started. So here's a window. So what I'll do, I touch, try to figure out how I um, do this with one hand. Um, so let's see. So I touch the window and I get vacuum section of um, what I've learned. If you notice, I have hardwood and I have area rugs so I can fill with my foot the edge of the carpet. And one thing about vacuuming, you have to really be cosmic is listen because I vacuumed this whole entire rug while um, not this vacuum because this one's fairly new. I got this for my birthday. But my other vacuum was kind of more old-fashioned so it will lift up if I didn't make sure it was pushed down. So I vacuumed the whole room thinking like it was cleaning it and the thing was up not doing anything. So now it's a different sound when it's up and down. So one, I make sure I listen for the sound because that was kind of embarrassing. That happened to me several times. And two, I just put my foot on the lip of the vacuum so that way I know where it is. So basically, what I was taught is just like a grid pattern, kind of like what I did with the window cleaning. You find the corner of the rug and you go up, down very slowly in, in a grid pattern and hopefully you don't miss any dirt. So I'll go ahead and show you. Come on, stupid thing. Ah, there we go. I heard the sound. 